Hello everyone, welcome to the channel again. Right, little update, I bought another bike. Um, whoops, I decided what I wanted was something a little more sports oriented and I've done it, I've got, but uh, yeah, it's a pretty old bike, but it's CBR 600F4. So that's, um, it's last of the carburetor models, um, 1999. With the, it's got the alloy frame on this one, not the steel frame. So I'm not, I'm not going to lie. This one needs a bit of work. It's, it's not, it's not to my kind of standards, but um, I bought it as a bit of fun and potentially maybe a doer upper. Let's get into it and let's see what we can find out. Right, so put you in the picture. I didn't pay a lot for this, not at all, because it's it's pretty it's pretty rough. I mean, it looks looks all right on the on the camera, but when you get up close, the paint job's not that good. It's not in original colours. There's one or two issues. I mean, somebody's tried to the clocks are all hanging off. Which I'll sort out. There's a there's a lot of corrosion here and there. It's it's, it's had a it's had a difficult life. You see the the swinging arms, not in the best condition. Um, now, one thing I've noticed, which is not great, one of the worst things I've found since since I made the purchase, unfortunately, is if you can see that it's, it's not the easiest thing to see, which is why I missed it. But what I'm, what I've noticed is the back end so you can see the um the rear wheel there I've got to check all this out yet so the rear wheels presumably straight but it's not in the middle of the the rear of the bike it's it seems slightly off wheels well i would i would think the subframe or the panel work this stuff here is too far to the right anyway we'll get into it and i'll keep you updated Right, update, update on the CBR 600. Um, it's good news, as you can see, we've got the got the rear cowl and seat off. Um, you've probably seen a couple of photographs which I've just put up. Um, what I've what I've just discovered with my tools here is I don't know if you'll see this on the camera, especially with these these cameras do tend to fish eye a little bit. Um, so if I hold this straight edge on here, I mean, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be straight or not, but we're touching there and then it kicks off here. So see that movement there. And we have similar at the other side, if I try to, it's difficult because the battery box is in the way. Similar at the other side, you know, if it's touching there, but then, we get to this end the gap is much bigger much bigger there so then i moved on to the um engineer square and i can't get right up into the corner because of these welds here this is a round tube square tube so if i place it on the flat tube here let's get it as far as i can and then if you look at that gap there you can see it it definitely kicks off a bit of an angle and then if I turn it round you would expect that angle to be the same it is clearly the total opposite so that, that this end of the square is touching there and the gaps are into the corner here and if I flip it back round it's actually the opposite way the gap's bigger here than what it is here so looks to me like this here has bent and gone over like this it's gone over this way so it's not major catastrophe um it's a bit of a strip down and good excuse to tidy it up i mean all the wiring was a bit of a mess it's all just it needs a polish and a clean and i can change some bolts um i mean you can see the corrosion here and some really poor wiring and i hate this crap look at this one that's terrible so I'll fix it up. I'm going to order a new subframe, which is 
few bolts really, it's nothing major. Right, a few days have passed and the uh, postman's been out of the box, which is, I suspect, the subframe, um, which I'm now going to open and have a look at. Um, so if you remember previously, the uh, the subframe was bent, so I managed to source a second hand one, um, good old eBay, and um, so that's arrived. So let's unpack that. Um, this will be embarrassing if this is also bent. But there we are, that is, that is square that way and as close as we can get it that is square that way as well let's bring you in close i'm not sure you can see that so yeah that's square that way and square that way unlike mine which was far from square 